This is first touch of the game, right? First touch of the game, you know? You know? All right. He traveled. All right. He traveled. Straight up, he traveled. But that shit don't really matter because he ended up smoking this lay. You know, he don't got good knees. He can't jump too much. He couldn't get up to the other side and get that reverse lay. All right. Now, here we go. That's more like it. I thought he was about to smoke that one, too. But, I mean, you can even tell by the way you're moving. He ain't got no knees. What I really do want to talk about on this one, though, is the slips. If you're going to go and set the screen and slip and either roll good to the rim or get to the three, you probably don't even have to touch that play right here. Instead of trying to focus on hitting them or nudging them, anything you don't need to. It's called a slip for a reason. You get past them, you don't need a hit. And then, boom, he, he slips right there and doesn't allow Markel Fultz to be able to get underneath on this switch because he slips on time. And I was like, what the hell? They said a flare screen for Udonis Haslam. What the fuck? What the f You know, this whole time, like, you lose your knees, so you start to learn skills that you don't need to use your knees and your legs for and have the athleticism for. So UD bit probably been in the lab just huh, working on that jumper. And that shit do look a little funky, but if it go down, it go down. Mm. All right. Boom, you missed that first one. Comes right back. But boom, notice the difference between these two shots, right? Notice his base and notice his footwork. This is the first one. You saw how he stepped in that slow? Like he got the ball, then after he got the ball, then he got his feet in, then he went up. It all needs to be a good rhythm, a good fluid motion to get up into your shot so you can knock it down and have good rhythm. Look at this second attempt right off this offensive rebound. Now he gets some legs under him. He has that little skip footwork. He catches. Now he's able to get into a shot and knock it down. That's one thing that people overlook when it comes to shooting. It's not so much about the elbow, the hand placement on the ball and stuff. If you don't have good feet, all that shit's not going to work because you're not going to have good rhythm because it's a full body motion. That's a good blitz by UD. That's a good blitz and good rotation. Notice the angles at which he comes up on this blitz. Boom, peep how he's tight to Bitaze. By being tight to Bitaze, like being right on him, he's able to prevent that guard from being able to come off and boom, split that. So boom, he gets tight and then he gets wide and then pushes Michael Carter Williams back. And after that, boom, he drops back down and gets right back to who he needs to get to. And boom, UD in the mid UD in the mid range. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's not that first one down. Then he came right back again with, I was like, what the fuck is that? That's not UD, that's fucking KD right there. That's what you talking about in the mid post pull ups over the top. That shit knocked down. You may say that shit ugly, but that shit knocked down. Mm. Deflection by UD, but I don't even want to talk about UD right here. Notice the help though. Notice the help. Notice love. Him getting that gap, getting that stunt right there forces Caleb Houston to pick that up. And then boom, UD gets the deflection. Now you're like, oh, this is just a deflection. The ball goes right back out of bounds. They get the ball right back. But deflections are so overlooked and underrated on the fact that since once you do get it, it gets your defense reset, gets the offense reset. And now the, since they're both reset, you already have like half the time off the shot clock, if there is a shot clock. So now do what you're trying to do before. And by the way, make sure you subscribe, like, and turn on notifications because we drop breakdown videos daily. And if you want to catch my breakdowns live, make sure you go hit that link in the description, go follow, and let's get right back to it. Back again to the mid range. The f two dribble pull up. All right, all right, all right, all right. I thought that was KD. Boom, another one. What the f I was like, oh, okay. Back down to earth, all right? You knocked down a few. Made like, what, three straight? We back down to earth now. We back neutral. You're not KD no more. You're UD, bro. I remember, you're UD. <laughs> These smokes, bro. I just got to catch them all. Let's do it. Get that he shot the fool. What? He shot the fool. Yeah. He That's Shaq and the fool, bro. Those screens that get twisted at the last second, those are so good. They'll put the defense in a tricky spot because notice, especially if they're in a the drop, you got this big who's on the side they think they're going to be. But now if you twist this, they have to get all the way over to that other side. And now they're in recovery mode. They're going to be taking long strides to get to where they need to be. And by the time they get there, boom, they left a gap in between for them to split and be able to get to the rim. Mm. Good hands by Martin. I was like, what the? All right, stop playing with UD, bro. He got, he got a little bit of legs left on him. 
Wise man once said that. I'm not sure who it was. Mm. Hey, once again, all right, I know UD not going to be in this position. Like I said, 42, all right? He not going to be on his P's and Q's at all times just on the fact that he can't move like that. So, boom. In these situations right here, court awareness is vital, meaning you know who's near you and like what actions you're about to get into. So like, boom, like UD in the situation and you kind of recognize that you got another big, your other big right next to you and you could be able to make the switch because you most likely be able to guard the same positions that they do. Your mind should just boom, tell you to go switch instead of trying to get caught in between or whether it's you got to fight over, whether you got to stay or some shit like that. Then boom, that's a good blitz again. That's a good blitz again, but he got he got messed up on his rotation, right? He gets that blitz, and then he's got to turn and read and see where he has to get back to. Because if he recognized, he would not just look down in the paint and go to the paint. He'll look he'll look at both the paint and the corner and see who doesn't have a defender on him. All right. All right, that's the second time. That's the second time, but I don't know if the referees are just blind or they're kind of being nice. And I know you've seen this too. There's no way you did not see this. One, two, three. Come on now. Come on now. He missed it anyways. So. Mm, mind you, 42, but he's still moving his feet. All right, Franz is like, all right, you got a good possession on me? All right, let me get right back. Let me get this shit right back. Oh, UD found his ankle. You see? If this was about 2012, he would have got this. But like I said, he don't got that type of bounce to be able to boom, get to this reverse right there. He just don't. That's a good spin because he got into space on that catch. And by getting into space on that catch and showing his head up for a second, it forces Franz Wagner to step up into his body and forget to close up that lane that he has to the rim. Boom. Now I have it right there. That's the rotation right there. He came off that blitz this time. And instead of, boom, just turning and going straight to the paint and not looking to see where he has to go to, he counted numbers. He saw where he had to go. Boom. He pointed. He made sure he got there, and he went to this corner. Mm. Hey, all right, now, straight up, he's 42, bro. You're not making these closeouts. All right, these dudes, trying to, they're trying to, they trying to kill my boy UD, all right? Boom. I would throw that pass there right then and there. Let UD take that to the rim. On his own You know what I'm saying And boom Throws over the top UD can't jump like that If he got hurt On his last game That shit'll suck But he trying to They trying to get Get him hurt out here bro Boom another one That's one crazy Odd looking jumper But if that shit go in It go in People Oladipo does To start this play Boom He just called Your seven Right over here To come set this double screen Notice what this is gonna do To the help on this side to UD's defender especially. Since he set that double, he comes off both those screens and then forces UD's defender to go and tag on his roll for a second. And now since he tags, he hits UD on the three. Now he has a long closeout. UD has time to let that loose. Hmm. I so work. I so work. I so work. Peep Kevon Harris though. This is this is one foul that I hate to see from all players because they say get your hands up and people confuse up for going up and out because your body's kind of leaning that way and you stick it out but if you try to stick your hands out and they go up they hit your arm that's a foul but you're not like this you're like this and they hit your arms that's a foul you're going into their space so boom could have been avoided literally if you just change the angle of his arm from here to here mm. hey peep that peep that cut though Peep UD. I'm telling you, when you move off the ball and the player that's guarding you is unaware and they're focused on what's going on on the ball and you relocate, you cut, you do something, they have no clue of where you are. Look at UD makes a stunt. He comes up over here, thinks he has two, and then gets back to where he thinks he is. But <laughs> he's gone because they don't know where you are. All right, goddamn. Them falls alone. Like you could you could black him out and like turn him in just to a moving figure, like no facial features, no nothing, and then show somebody this fall and you'll probably think they're at least forty five. That's one all that dude right there, bro. Bro. God damn, that's a mean ass break. But peep the same thing again like I just told you. If your defender's playing off ball defense 
and then they got to go and stunt and try to get back or something. They're focused too much on the ball, and you move, they have no clue where you're going. Because UD's going to, boom, show here, and then try to make a stunt. Like, he has to get to back to somebody in this corner. Little does he know, that player is no longer in this corner. Like, where is he stunting to? You may as well just close out all the way, but since they're not focused on what's actually going on off the ball, they don't be thinking about it. They don't peep it. How to update that count. Mm. There you go. Boom. Knocked down. Hey, while all y'all was trolling him, while all y'all was making these memes and shit, saying UD is pointless, he's on the bench and stuff, that nigga UD was in the practice facility farming XP to get corner specialists, bro. Get catch and shoot. He got the motherfuckers on like bronze, maybe silver, but he was farming that XP, bro, in that practice facility, bro. I'm telling you. He was farming his badges the whole time just for this game right here. But that's UD for you right there, bro.